Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Whether you're a seasoned hacker, a cybersecurity enthusiast, or just someone curious about Kali Linux, you're in for a treat today. We're diving into the brand new Kali Linux 2025.1a release. This update is packed with exciting new features, improvements, and some seriously cool tools. So, let's break it down. First things first, what's with the name? Why 2025.1a and not just 2025.1? Well, the Kali team found a last minute bug in one of the packages after they already created the initial images. So, they had to rebuild everything with a fix. That's why we've got the A at the end. It's a small detail, but it shows how much they care about delivering a polished product. Now, let's talk about the 2025 team refresh. Every year, Kali gives its interface a fresh new look and this year is no exception. The boot menu, login screen and desktop wallpapers have all been updated to look sleek and modern. If you're using Kali Purple, the defensive security edition, you'll get some stunning new wallpapers too. Plus, there is a new package called Kali Community Wallpapers that includes even more backgrounds created by the Kali community. If you're into customizing your setup, this is a must-have. Next up, let's talk about the desktop environments. If you're a fan of KDE Plasma, you're in for a treat. Kali 2025.1a now includes KDE Plasma 6.2. This is a huge jump from the previous version, Plasma 5.27. The new version brings floating panels, updated themes and a ton of under the hood improvements. It's like getting a brand new car with all the latest tech. And for those who prefer XFCE, the default desktop environment for Kali, there is good news too. XFCE has been updated to version 4.20. This update includes two years of development work, making it faster, more stable and just all around better. Whether you're a KDE fan or an XFCE loyalist, Kali has you covered. Now let's talk about Raspberry Pi support. If you're using Kali on a Raspberry Pi, this update is a big deal. First off, Kali now uses the same Raspi firmware package as Raspberry Pi OS, which means better compatibility and performance. There is also a new kernel based on version 6.6.74, which includes support for the Raspberry Pi 5. That's right, Kali is now fully optimized for the latest Pi hardware. There is also a new partition layout that mirrors Raspberry Pi OS. The first partition is now mounted at slash boot slash firmware instead of slash boot. If you need edit files like config.txt or cmdline.txt, you'll find them in the new location. Don't worry, there is a reference file in the old location to point you in the right direction. One important note, because of all these changes, the Kali team recommends starting with a fresh image if you're using a Raspberry Pi. Upgrading from an older version may not break anything, but for the best experience, a clean install is the way to go. Now, let's shift gears and talk about Kali NetHunter. If you're not familiar, NetHunter is Kali's mobile platform for penetration testing. And this release brings some awesome new features. First up, there is a brand new CAN Arsenal tab in the NetHunter app. This lets you do car hacking right from your phone. Imagine being able to test the security of a car system with just your smartphone. There are also new kernels for devices like the Samsung Galaxy S9, S10 and Xiaomi Redmi Note 6 Pro. These kernels include patches that haven't worked since the Samsung Galaxy S7, so this is a big win for NetHunter users. And if you're installing NetHunter on a new device, you'll love the new dynamic wallpaper feature. It automatically adjusts to your device's resolution, so you don't have to worry about finding the right wallpaper size. Of course, no Kali release will be complete without some new tools. This time we've got Hoax Shell, a Windows reverse shell payload generator and handler. It abuses the HTTPS protocol to create a beacon-like reverse shell, making it a powerful tool for penetration testers. And as always, there are tons of package updates to keep your tools sharp and up to date. The Kali kernel has also been bumped to version 6.12, so you're getting the latest and greatest in terms of performance and security. And that's it for the Kali Linux 2025.1a release. Whether you're here for the new team, the Raspberry Pi updates, or the awesome new tools, there's something in this release for everyone. If you're already running Kali, you can upgrade to 2025.1a or you can download a fresh image from the official Kali website. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.